Hello traders, in this video I'm going to share with you how I made 600 pips trading gold this week and I will walk you through my thought process when uh, analyzing potential trades. I'll be discussing four trades, three of which uh, have already been closed and one that is currently running and I will explain in detail uh, why I opened each trade and my money management and chosen targets and level of stop loss uh, for each one. So let's begin. My first trade, although uh, closed uh, this week, uh, was in fact um, opened uh, on uh, 9 February. It was a sell uh, trade for gold and the reason, uh, the reason for uh, selling gold was, as I said in my public analysis, uh, we have this strong reversal. So from this high to this low, we have a thousand pips uh, drop. So the reasoning was what I want to do. I want to sell and join the move. Where I want to sell? The obvious uh, place to uh, put a pending order, as I said a um, lot of times, I use pending orders is in this zone. So this support now is, re is resistance now. So I want to sell in this zone. As we can see in the first three days, uh, the market didn't reach this level of resistance to fill my pending order. So looking at a shorter time frame, Let's look at a one hour chart. I said, okay, there is selling pressure, but also is looking that uh, it's looking like a flag is forming. So let's try to sell on this flag's resistance. So before this very strong resistance, on this short term resistance. And set a pending order in this zone. It was a, a sniper entry. And where do I want to put a stop loss for this trade? Obviously, above this level of resistance. Where do I want to set uh, take profit? Exactly in this zone. So the previous low. Do I have a positive risk reward for this? As we can see, we have almost one to two. So it's worth taking this trade. As I said, the order was filled. And the market also dropped in this uh, level of uh, support. So this is the first trade with uh, 280 pips uh, profit. After reaching this level, as we see from the chart, the market dropped lower. At this point, I said, okay, the pressure, uh, the pressure remains to the downside. So I want to sell again. Where do I want to put my sell limit order? For a test to this broken support, now resistance and set a pending order at 1875. This order was not triggered. So as we can see from this uh, chart, was very close but it didn't trigger. The market dropped again in this low, so 1850 uh, low. And at that uh, moment, I said, okay, we have uh, support here in 1850. So moving forward to uh, CPI day. At that moment, I said, OK, we can have a correction from this uh, level of support. 
So what I want to do? I want to buy. Where do I want to buy? In this level of support at 1850. Set a pending order here. Where do I want to close my trade? At 1875. Indeed, with the volatility from the uh, uh, CPI day, the order was triggered, but it didn't uh, reach uh, my target. Looking at uh, the price action uh, after the, the news, I uh, felt that the pressure remained to the downside. So, manually closed my position with uh, 80 pips uh, uh, profit and uh, thought, okay, uh, the market don't want to go up. The pressure remains to the downside. So I want to sell again. Where do I want to sell? And chose this level, as you can see here. Let's take this. I want to sell again in this level. Indeed, the market went to this level a little bit higher. Where do I want to uh, put my stop loss for this trade? Uh, short. Above this high. And at that moment, wanted 1820 as uh, my target. So with a risk reward of one to two. The market, as I said, took my order, started to drop and in this zone started to consolidate. And uh, seeing this, again, closed manually my trade uh, with the 210 pips uh, profit and uh, said to myself, OK, let's wait and see market again went down, again up, and I said the pressure remains to the downside, so I want to sell again. Where do I want to sell? And we have again this zone. So I set a pending order of uh, at uh, 1835. This was yesterday. The order was triggered and the market went above this level. So at this moment, my trade is uh, running with uh, 70 pips uh, drawdown. The stop loss for this trade is above this level of resistance. And as for target, I've chosen uh, 1800. So as uh, we are in this trade, this trade, if we are looking at it on a daily, it's not looking very good because we have this reversal pin bar and it's strongly, uh, it will uh, close uh, at uh, the higher point of the day. So it can be a losing tra trade. But considering the fact that the uh, previous three trades were winning trades, of course, we will have losing trades. Uh, the secret is to uh, have to win more in uh, uh, good trades than uh, you lose in bad trades. So at this moment, even if I lose 200 pips, the stop loss for this trade, I still make money with these four trades. So uh, that's it for this video. I hope it's clear how I think and how I uh, uh, open trades, how I manage my trades 
and uh, all this. If not, you can uh, you can uh, uh, post a comment and ask me questions. That's it. Bye bye.